Wow, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and we gotta talk about some of these IG lives that have been popping, not just IG lives, but lives in general, and the videos that I'm about to talk about will be included in the description, so y'all can go check them out. Trust me, we got some lit stuff to talk about, but one of the primary things that I wanna touch on, not just because some of these lives are dope, but look, artists, how can y'all make y'all lives popping? Because I see too many people doing lazy lives, and I hate when my creatives aren't creative, when my artists aren't artistic, you know what I mean? So let's make this thing pop. Let's go ahead and talk about the first video. Let me find this thing, pull it up. Here we go. No, you got to get your oh yeah, she in her bag already. Let me uh let her hit that note. Y'all right, don't know nothing about that. But what's so dope about this live right here? Erica Badu, she didn't do her live on IG Live. She did her live on, I don't even know what platform. I think people donated a dollar, which isn't a lot. And then you talk about no overhead for a concert. This is kind of the way to go. I don't see why more artists don't do it. Ben telling people to do it. But check out how she has a whole environment going on, right? A whole vibe for people to vicariously live through versus just hopping on live and I'm doing some basic stuff and I'm performing, sitting at my couch and, and on the guitar or whatever. That's something y'all could take from this because like I said, this is a whole experience. Check her live out. It's a vibe, giving you angles, but let's move on. We're gonna keep this fast paced. My guy, my guy, Sway Lee, bro. This junk is hard, dude is lit. If y'all haven't watched this, man, he's pretending like he had a concert for real, for real. Let me let me show you how dedicated he is. This guy wins number one over anybody I've seen in terms of uh, dedication. And shout out to Corey for putting me on to this one. Let me let me pull up a moment in this live. I'm not going to even hold you. I'm not going to even hold you. Hold up. Let me pull up a moment. Let me see. Where, where's... Where's a moment in this live that y'all got to check out? Ah, oh, all right, 1056, timestamps. This dude right here, he's so dedicated, he's bringing fans on stage, right? He had the whole setup like, yo, put up a red phone. If you put up a red phone, I'm going to invite you into the chat. You got to act like you're a fan on stage and rock out with me. But that's not it. Right, check this out. How dedicated he is with this. <laughs> hold up, this dude is wildin'. <laughs> the kid is wildin'. All right, hold up. <laughs> At eighteen twelve, another timestamp. Check this out, bruh. Throwing the bras and panties on stage. This isn't something he just like hopped on live and said, I'm gonna get at a mic, right? He has the mic, he's rocking out, walking around, acting like he's at a concert for real. But if you hear the crowd noise, right? They had to set this whole thing up. They thought this through. I love this live. This is probably like, mm, this is my top four easy, top four, probably top, top three of the lives I've seen because of how dedicated Buddy is. Let me see this, oh, and you got to watch this live. I'm not going to even pull it up. Dude crowd surfed. Tell me how he crowd surfed. That's how, de <laughs> That's how dedicated Buddy is, man. Hold on. Where's another, another moment? Let me see. Check this out right here. How, look how lit he is by himself. Jumping around stage. Come on, man. Like, this is one of my favorite lives easily. One of my favorite lives easily. But uh, let's let's keep this thing pushing. We got to switch it up completely because what I love about this guy right here, oh, uh, we can get this off the screen. My my bad, my bad, folks. Uh, God, all right. So much ass, obviously, on this live. It's not the point of this live. We got we got we got to figure out what a couple of you guys are doing. What makes this live so hard? Check it out for a second. Ben Simmons, call in and let us know what you're doing. All right. So if you don't 
see what's going on. You really got to check out the entire video. But he's really acting like he's a radio host, bringing people onto the radio, call in, all that kind of stuff. Of course, they added a twerk element. There's a lot of twerking in this video, you know. Ain't nothing wrong with a little twerk on IG. But check this out, right? <laughs> all right, my bad. <laughs> here's, a, here's another moment for you. This is one of my favorite moments off of the live. Let me see. Where's Young Thug? He brings my guy Young Thug on here. <laughs> Young Thug, the world can't believe that you're here live at Quarantine Radio. What are you doing to stay corona free, my brother? Having sex. <laughs> Bro, that's the Young Thug answer. Like, that shit is classic. But. The fact that he's really playing and dedicated to this radio host mode, I'm not going to kid you. He killed this jump. He's, he brought a lot of people on the live. There were a lot of good moments to watch. The whole point of this live, and I think what people can get out of it, is, again, you don't have to just be a music. You can be a personality in other ways, show personality in other ways. It can be entertaining. That's all that really matters. There's a reason that entertainers are more popular than musicians. Right. There's people who are dope at just really that. getting their pen game up, play an instrument, all that type of stuff. But like the people who can entertain us, music is in the entertainment industry. It's a reason for that. Entertainment comes first, bro. And he entertained. There's way more ways to music. There's way more ways to entertain than music. Let me uh, pull up this one. We're going to go even further away from that. This is wild. But look, if you have some kids, you probably understand stuff like this John Legend Chrissy Teigen I think that's how you say her name they did a wedding for their kids I don't know her name one of their kids baby dolls and they really played this thing out like they de they they're dedicated like so dedicated check this out of, of, of course, John's gonna sing, but we don't got no time for that, John. Like they did everything, whatever the whole ritual, the whole ceremony. They did flower girl, all that kind of stuff. But a point is, again, for your fans, you can entertain in multiple ways. You do not have to just play music. There's so many different experiences that you can bring people in to, and you can't get all picky about how people connect with you and i think that's the issue a lot of artists have like they want them to connect to them in a specific way but bruh, if they like you this way and some people like you for your music and then eventually sometimes the people who like you for your music finally discover your music and start to love you right they finally find that one song that hits them right same thing for people who like your music right eventually they get that hit from your personality where like you know what i actually like them as a person the whole point as an artist is for them to like the entire brand and vibes anyway who cares how they come into it so if you show personality and things like that these are the things that stand out because if you want to be remembered through this time i've been telling people for years at this point that y'all need to do lives do experiences and get in-depth live concerts private things like that i've been saying this for years but now, because of this whole corona stuff, everybody's doing it, right? And if everybody's doing it, now you got to figure out how to stand out because just doing it and dedicated is not going to do the thing. It's not going to do it for you. Even Drake, right, talking to his dad on live. It's interesting just because, of course, they've already publicized the relationship. It's already a thing. People already know who his dad is. He's a character, kind of a level figure in the culture. But then them just talking live, that's just a conversation that's a, a little less expected, right? And having that convo live and people peering into a genuine relationship like that. And then another example, of course, now this is even further away, because this is LeBron, Richard Jefferson, some people, like if you don't know basketball, you don't know basketball. But what's important is like, this is just a, a convo that they have, that they're having. In the same way people watch ESPN for conversations or everyday struggle and all these talk shows and morning shows, just having a conversation with you and other collaborators that's just an interesting regular per person conversation that allows another way for people to connect with you and it can't be slept on so if you have 
genuine people that you genuinely rock with that y'all could actually just have a conversation that other people have that uh, other people are interested in had that conversation and there's no pressure that's the best part about it because if you like people like that the person like that that you're ca collaborating with it's probably going to be an interesting conversation and something worth listening to so you can do that i don't care if you're an artist actor or whatever and this probably makes it even doper to start to do something like this with people who aren't even necessarily in your field or just people that people don't even know that you rock with so there's so many ways to make these lives go lives are not just a moment Right. There's going to be more people who do this ongoing. And when we talk about the overhead, man, it doesn't cost money like that. Why not do this? Right. So make it an experience, dedicate, like really commit to it and, and bring a whole vibe and an energy. Whenever you try to do this, make sure you capture it because some people are not capturing their lives in a way where it can be reused for future content. You got to do that because there's not going to be everybody who catches it. Make sure you capture that jump. So people can use it in the future, man. Entertain and stop being overly worried about how people perceive you, man. Like and how people come into your brain. It doesn't really matter as long as they rock with you. But these are just some of the dopest lives that I've seen thus far, man. The lives are the way to go. It is the future. And eventually, eventually, you probably can, you know, make some good money off of it, too. You know, depending on what level of artist you are. And it's not just for artists, by the way. Influencers in general, whatever you do any public figure man there's so much you can do with lives lives are not the wave lives are the future let's get it and if you like this video oh don't forget you want to watch in these videos they're in the description below they are definitely worth it bro like tory lanes is lit sway lee is super lit erica badu is a vibe convo with lebron is dope and last but not least <laughs> it's just a wow they went so deep into that John Legend like Chrissy Teigen wedding for their kids. They really dedicated it. And wherever they are, like the weather is nice, probably California. Anyway, as always, hopefully that was helpful for you, giving you some ideas, inspiration, and all that good stuff. If you like this video, hit the like button, but also the notification bell so you can get the future videos on this channel. And also, of course, if you like it, you might as well share it. If you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.